Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be looking at um, making adjustments to the throttle position sensor. If you saw my uh, previous video where we put the bike into dealer mode in order to be able to read uh, any codes, then uh, you will have seen me briefly mention um, about the indicator on the dashboard uh, for the throttle position sensor. Now, on that video, the indicator was bang in the middle, which is where it needs to be. If it's at the top of the display or at the bottom of the display, then the, uh, the, the throttle position sensor requires adjustment. And that's what we're going to do here. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the tank off and have a look at the throttle position sensor. Then we'll um, put her in dealer mode and uh, make the adjustments. Thank you for stopping by. Welcome to the channel. Okay, with the tank off, um, we can see the throttle position sensor, which is right here on the side of the throttle body. Now, obviously you can see on here at factory, they put a little bit of white paint on to show the position that it's supposed to be um, in. And if it moves outside of that, you, you know, it's a witness line effectively, so you can see that it's moved. Um, but this is, uh, this is what we're gonna adjust in order to um, uh, bring, it, bring, bring that dash on the, uh, on the dashboard into the center of the display. Okay, in order to do this, what we need to do first is put the bike into dealer mode. And to do that, I have my little, uh, my little paper clip. Now, here's the socket, as um, we've done before when we did it in dealer mode last time. Just pop the little black cap off. And the two pins we're bridging is the two at this end, away the opposite end from the uh, the blank pin so these two here simply put the paper clip in and push her home like so right now what we want to do next is we need to free off the uh the, the bolts holding um holding the throttle position sensor onto the side of the throttle bodies now in order to do this you need a security um, torx because if you look at the head of the bolt you can see that there's a little pin in the middle and a regular torx bit won't fit into that so you need a security one which has the little hole in the middle and we'll pop her in and crack the bolts off now the trick here is to loosen them enough to be able to move the throttle position sensor but not loose enough that it falls around because you need to be able to um, basically move the throttle position sensor and it to stay in the position that you move it in. Um, let me just crack the bottom one off. Okay, now as you can see we can move the throttle position sensor around its axis. So that's where we want to be. Okay, what we're going to do next is we're going to turn the ignition on and that will put the bike into dealer mode. Okay, what we'll do now, turn the ignition on. The run stop switch on the right switch gear is in the off position at the moment and we should get check come up on the screen. What we're going to do now is flick the red switch to the on position and we should get our code and the dash. At the moment, as you can see, my um, the dash on my display is bang in the middle where it wants to be. But if I wiggle the throttle position sensor from side to side, you can see it jumping up and down on the display. So all I'm doing is literally twisting the sensor around its axis, just like so. And that's all I'm doing. And then that has put it back into the middle again, where, where it started, which is where it wants to be. Um, obviously, I didn't have a problem with my throttle position sensor, but I've done this just to demonstrate the, uh, the way to do it. Okay, now with that back in the middle, what I need to do is just 
tighten up those bolts, bearing in mind, of course, that it is possible to turn the throttle position sensor whilst you're tightening the bolts. So just be mindful of that. Make sure that they're nice and tight. So that's the top one. Just get the bottom one. Obviously paying attention to the screen just to make sure that it doesn't alter the which it just has and no oh no it's gone back. This bottom one's a bit more awkward to get into. You can see the dash actually drop into the bottom of the display as as i tighten the bolt but there we go the bolt is tight as it needs to be and the dash is now in the center of the display which is exactly where it wants to be so that is the adjustment procedure for the throttle position sensor um, obviously if you are unable to get that dash into the center of the display then it's potentially a, a new throttle position sensor. Um, there, is a, uh, there is a test that you can carry out using a multimeter and the details of that are in the factory manual, uh, but I'm not gonna do that on this video. Okay, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Entirely up to you. Um, please consider subscribing for more, uh, for more videos from Kev Shed. Um, also hit me up on the socials, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Um, the links to all of those are in the description. Anyway guys, thank you very much for stopping by and I'll see you all again for the next video. Bye bye now.